Welcome to Champion Ways. I'm Kai Alderink, and we're all about performance. And I'm going to tell you right now why it is so important that you learn to curve the golf ball and how that's going to translate into really performing at a high level. We're going to go over that right now. I'm just trying to hit it straight. Okay, you have to learn to curve the ball. And you have to learn to hit the ball at different trajectories. This is what skill is. And the important thing behind that is there's two really major important things why it's important to curve the ball. Is number one, we learn what why the ball does it, you know, and what that feels like. So if the ball starts to curve on you unintentionally, you know how to correct it. Part two of that, it helps you calibrate your swing. So, uh, you know, we get on these launch monitors and everything, and so many players are trying so hard to be, like, at that zero level. Zero path and face is only good if you're on a flat lie and you're in basically great conditions. So if you have wind, if you have side hill, these are all times where we have actually got to change the angle of attack, we got to change the path, and we have to change all that on command. We have to know if we're tucked behind a tree, how can we fade the ball? We have to get the path to the left. Can the next one get the path to the right? Can we shallow the angle attack? Can we steepen it? This is all stuff that we have to do, and it also helps calibrate our swing. If you can go six degrees to the left with a path, and then the next one goes six degrees to the right, you can find zero very easily instead of just working so hard on your technique trying to get there. This is a really fast way to learn how to get your body to move, and it helps to build on attention too. And attention is another video you should really watch because it's powerful, powerful stuff. So again, if you're at that point where you're like, I'm just trying to hit it straight, I promise you, you have to learn to hit these shots. This is what I call training skill. So technique and skill are different. So your technical is the base motion you're gonna swing, and that's going to be trained separately from skill. Again, when you're training technique, get a target out of play and just focus on the motion. But once we get that motion, we need to start learning to put rhythm into it and get the ball moving in different directions so we know why it moves in different directions and we can change things and kind of calibrate or self-correct if we need to. If you're off, and especially in a competition, you can't run to a coach nor should you at that point. You need to learn to get yourself back in order very quickly. So again, if the ball starts to draw, you know how to fade it. You can kind of bring that back to the middle and it doesn't take a lot of effort. So it's very important that you add into your practice plans shaping shots. There's nine ball flights. There's high, medium, and low, and then there's a curve left, straight, and a curve right in every category that equals nine ball flights. If you can hit all those ball flights, you are gaining serious skill. But golf is about controlling the ball. It's about making it go where you need to make it go. This is how we do it. You have to add curving the ball and shaping shots into your practice. Start doing that today. Again, if you like these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're going to keep building and building on these answers and talking about how to perform at that high level. This is a great great, great thing.